Hi, I'm Melinda Iverson Inn, and um, I'm thrilled to be here with Ozark Research Institute giving a talk. Um, today, we are going to talk about um, the etheric grid. So what is the etheric grid? The etheric grid, as described to me um, many years ago um, by a teacher of mine, is a connection that we have at a certain level um, that we can all see that connects us into the light um, threads, if you will, or a, a, I, it even looks like a grid where we're all, all connected into this grid. And the only reason we're visualizing it that way is because it's the way our mind can kind of wrap itself around how this works. So if you think about the etheric grid and you think about a grid, like, you know, grids this way, this way, and we have all the light workers and everyone's connected to this grid. Everybody's connected to this grid to some degree or another. Some of us are more aware that we're connected to this grid than others. However, sometimes the perception is that we, um, when we become out of balance and when we become um, not feeling well necessarily, um, there is a concept of separation from this grid. And um, it can be triggered by things um, going to the dentist, the high pitched sound of the drill could do it. Um, I've had it happen to me when I was flying a lot. Um, or if you encounter someone and there is a strong um, disharmonious reaction due to who knows what past life, present life, future life, I don't know, but whatever the disharmonious action is between you. Um, and sometimes it can happen when you don't even um, know them. So what, so what this etheric grid looks like um, as described in sort of a 3D concept um, even though it has implications with fifth dimension and higher, is that you're, you feel like you're surrounded, you're connected to God's source, universe, all, whatever you'd like to call it, great spirit. And there's this giant, you, uh, what do you call it? PVC pipe, PVC pipe, it's huge. It goes all the way around us, right? And, and as you imagine this, um, it goes all the way up to source or into source, right? Because we're all connected. God's connected. However, there are times when we'll feel kind of off kilter or out of balance, or um, we seem to kind of catch cold sometimes. That that has the effect as well, where you you start to feel kind of a little bit of malaise. In that case, you want to check to see if your grid is actually connected. If you didn't um, separate yourself from this grid and what does separation look like? Well, um, if you look at this PVC pipe concept, then it's about the size of a piece of floss that you've diminished this um, connection to God source inside, outside to a tiny, tiny little piece of floss. So imagine this tiny little thing as opposed to this beautiful giant connection. That's kind of a 3D model way of looking at it. Now, when the connection feels even like this big, right? As opposed to this big, um, we it's like cutting off our oxygen, we feel diminished, we feel out of balance, we feel maybe like we're manifesting some kind of malaise or something like that. 
Um, and like I said, it can happen with machinery, the sound of a dentist drill, flying, um, gosh, anything could, could trigger it. However, it doesn't happen all the time. This is a particular um, frequency, if you will, with another person, with an object, with a sound, with, um, gosh, um, watching a movie maybe, something that throws you off because there's something that needs to be healed. Now, um, I talk about different frequencies because um, it's like you're listening to classical music and somebody is playing um, some heavy metal, for instance, and there's this disconnect in the, in the vibrational harmony for you. Um, it doesn't mean it's disharmonious for them. It just means that it's not a connection for your vibration. In that case, what can happen is it's like tripping and falling. You know, you trip or, or you have in the past. And like I say, don't trip now. But you've done something um, or you begin to show signs of, of this, uh, not only feeling a malaise, but maybe even hurting yourself a little bit. Like, you drop things or um, you, you know, paper cut or anything like that, that could happen where you begin to um, hurt yourself as well. So these are just little signs that your, your grid may be disconnected. Now, how do we put that grid back in? And um, so I'm gonna douse it. Here's my pendulum here. Um, it's on a necklace, um, but it, it's a nice little pendulum here. So when we douse the etheric grid, first of all, we want to find out um, as uh, do we have a complete etheric grid? Are we completely connected to the grid? And the only way to douse that um, as you've been taught in the past, is if you understand all the words, phrases, and context for which this um, question is being asked. So if you're really understanding what the etheric grid is and how you're connected to it, just like everyone else, and what could happen that might throw you off from that a little bit or make you feel tilted or disconnected or that your connection is, you know, that big as opposed to this big. Now, um, you know, we can look at these at all different levels. You know, if we say, okay, well, you're in charge of how you feel about things and um, your connection to source. Sure, that's true. However, what happens, as you know, in our growth process is our, our beliefs, our ideas, our patterns, our programs, our thought forms, whatever it is that's coming up for us to be healed will surface and will um, potentially affect this grid in a way that is um, making you feel not so well. So getting into the basics of how to put your etheric grid or how to reconnect yourself back to your etheric grid. Um, there are three things you're gonna douse. So the first thing you're gonna douse is you're gonna make sure you're connected. One is earth energies. It's called earth three energies, earth energies. And you wanna saturate your system with these earth three energies. Why? These earth three energies are about um, grounding, reconnecting, and um, saturating yourself with the earth energies. Okay. And you would, um, the way I do it is I just run my pendulum in a clockwise position. And when it's done, it stops. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do that. Um, very simple. The next thing you want to look at is earth two energy. So you have three of earth three energies, and then you have earth two etheric energies, etheric energies. So you want to saturate yourself with earth two etheric energies. 
Um, this is one technique to do this. Honestly, I can't tell you any others that do it, but I know this technique works. Um, and oftentimes when you're dowsing with a client or you're dowsing yourself, you won't get very far if their etheric grid is out. It just needs to be, they just need to be sort of, imagine your chakras being lined up only in a zigzag instead of a nice straight. So when it's kind of this sharp angled zigzaggy thing happening, um, it's gonna be hard to receive energies that are going to help influence the physical, um, emotional, mental, spiritual systems um, at that level. So saturating yourself with earth two or your client, earth two etheric energies. And then when the pendulum stops, it's complete. The last of the three is earth one universal love energies. Now universal love, we all need it, right? We can all give it, we can all receive it. But for some reason, when the grid is out or goes out, um, and we're a little off kilter, we um, have a tendency to separate ourselves or think that we're separated from universal love. That's where the malaise comes in. That's when we start feeling not so well and our energies are low. So we want to, um, at the, the second and third and first, so the going three, two, one, down to universal love energy. So you would saturate yourself or your client with earth one universal love energies. Again, the pendulum will spin until it's complete. And then when it's complete, it's done. Now, um, there is a mathematical formula that goes along with the etheric grid. And I learned it in 2003. So this mathematical formula is by sevens. So it's, if you were to look at a grid piece of paper, it would be um, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down. Mathematical grid, these are number frequencies. For whatever reason, this works also. So when you've completed your saturation of earth three energies, earth two etheric energies and earth one universal love energies, you can check by going through this mathematical equation, meaning one by one, two by one by seven, two by seven, three by seven, four by seven, until you get to 49. So do I see a seven, right? One by seven, yes. Do I see two by seven, 14? Do I see three by seven, 21? Do I see four by seven, 28? Do I see five by seven, 30, right? And, um, uh, let's see, 35 maybe, and then six by seven is 39, and then seven by seven is 49. I think I got my timetables really messed up, but <laughs> I know seven times seven is 49. So when you get there, you, you will get a yes to that. Now, I know this is complicated. It sounds very weird. Um, it's just the way it was shown to me. So um, one by seven and, and then seven. So basically what we're looking at here is a grid. This is going to be backwards. So actually, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now over here is going to be 49, right? So the seven by seven here is 49. And then you have all the iterations in between. So, you know, seven, 14, et cetera, right? Seven, 14 across. Yeah, and, and so seven, if you're looking at this grid and you go seven by seven, oops, 
seven by seven is 49. Don't ask me why this works. I don't know. This is the way I was taught, but I know it works. Um, I tend to kind of skip the mathematical part of it um, and just check and see, hey, is there, is there, I see a complete etheric grid. That's just the extra part for people who really want to um, work with their left brain. Um, that's the mathematics of it. So I see the grid one by seven, two by seven, three by seven, four by seven, five by seven, six by seven, seven by seven. The grid is in and complete. I believe this was um, a process developed by Robert J. Wade Mahaney. He is a sky dowser now. He passed away in uh, 2008. Um, and he was a brilliant health dowser. So I, I trust him. <laughs> it was pretty far out there for a lot of people, but he did amazing work. So re iterating what's going on here. We're, we're putting in, um, we're reconnecting to the uh, etheric grid. And there's two ways to do that. One through the mathematical grid process, which is one through seven times itself. One, right? One times seven, two times seven, three times seven, up to 49. Or you can saturate yourself with earth three energies or your client, earth two etheric energies and earth one universal love energies. And when that's complete, your pendulum will come to a stop. I have known people when their grid is back in to just completely come out of whatever it was that was causing um, some kind of physical symptoms like a cold. I've seen people yawn constantly yawning when their grid's going back in. Um, I know that this works. I know it's very powerful. It's a little confusing, I understand. Um, I've never taught this work before um, to the greater public. Um, and I, I, I felt like it was needed today because so many people are being thrown off by what's happening around them and there's such an acceleration process that the concept of separation um, is um, coming up for healing. And the more it comes up for healing, um, the more we're going to need to have tools to help us recognize that we're not separate. It's a mind construct um, from many, 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 many years ago, probably since we started a human body. The physical and the spirit are not separate. They are one and the same. However, right, we have free will, we have beliefs, ideas, patterns, you know, thought forms that sometimes get in the way of us feeling like we're connected. When this happens and it creates a physical disharmony in the system, please look and see if the etheric grid is intact. Do I see a complete etheric grid? That's it. That's all you got to do. And um, I hope this serves you, this um, video. It was, it was my great pleasure to share this information with you. I don't have a chart. I've never created a chart for this. Um, I'm, I'm just giving it to you um, as it was um, passed on to me. And um, I look forward to um, seeing you in the future. If you'd like to find me and more information about etheric body work, you can go to my website, melindain.com, M-E-L-I-N-D-A-I-N-N.com, or melindaiversonin.com. Both will get you there. You can email me. Melinda Iverson in at gmail.com. So my name at gmail.com. My great pleasure to work with you today. I've got a few books on the website. Please visit. Um, and I look forward to um, hearing from you in the future. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Mm -hmm.